Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to uh, go and make something cool out of um, a single object and um, multiple colors uh, using Cycles 4D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sphere. Come up here and create a sphere. And this sphere I'm going to give it, uh, if you don't see these lines you probably don't have the uh, Gurud shading with lines turned on. If you don't come up here to display Gurud shading with lines and uh, just make sure that's enabled. That way you can see um, where the polygons and edges are. And then I'm going to change this. I'm going to I'm going to increase this here and I'm going to take it up to uh, something pretty good. Maybe 40. And 40 looks good. Nice and smooth. And then I'm going to grab these two um, segments here. Or these two. Um, and then I'm going to come over here and grab these two polygon loops right here. So let's go ahead and select. Um, let's make this editable first. Hit C on the keyboard or come up here and make editable. So I hit C, makes it editable. Then I'm going to come over here and grab my polygon tool. And then I'm going to hit UL on the keyboard, UL, which will allow me to grab an, uh, a loop. And um, depending on what you're in, if you're in edge and you hit UL, it'll allow you to grab a loop, an edge loop. If you're in faces, it'll allow you to grab a face loop. So or a polygon loop. So I'm going to come over here and grab this one and hold down shift and grab this one as well. The next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of make this interesting a little bit. So I'm going to hit um, the I key for extrude enter and then I will zoom in a little bit here or I'm going to um, make that a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to hit the D key I'm going to bring that in just a little bit. I key again. And then hit D and then bring that out. And it kind of gives it some sort of interest along the edge there. So if I come back over here and go back to this shading method, you'll see that it has this little crease here. And then we have this edge. So let's go back to the polygon mode. It's still selected. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this edge loop in here now as well as this one down here. So I'm going to hit UL and hold down my shift key, grab that guy there, alt of course and drag and grab this guy here. Alright so now I have that selection. Now I'll go ahead and uh, set a selection here. So come up to selection, set selection and now I've got my little set selection here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this to something easy. So this is going to be my light light selection, just a random name here, so hit control C, so I have that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is add an attribute to this, so we don't need that anymore. So we'll go ahead and come over here to cycles, attributes, and then I will click on that and click add attribute, and then right here I'm just going to rename that to uh, the same name as this selection, so hit control V, I copied that, and now all I have to do is drag this down here. Now that's done. The next thing I'm going to do is come over here and hit create and uh, cycles material, object material. Drag and drop that onto my object there. And we'll name this uh, this sphere or ball, ball mat for ball material. And then we'll create another one because I would like a floor in here. So I'm going to come over here and create another cycles material. And this is going to be for the floor. Oops. Just want to click on this and hit floor. So now I have a floor material. So let's create a floor real quick. And of course, you can't use the um, at this point we can't use the um, floor, uh, the infinite floor here. We actually have to just put a plane in here. So I'm going to come over here and put a plane in here, and then we'll move my sphere up. And come in the front view here and make sure my sphere is on the floor. So we'll just drag it up here. As long as it's close, somewhere up here. So we can just see this at first. And then I'm going to go uh, back over here and grab this. And we're just going to scale this up just a little bit. So I'm grabbing these little handles here and just moving them out as far as I can. And then we'll come over here and kind of line up our. Something like this. You probably won't even see this edge here, but uh, you can also make this bigger if you want. 
there we go all right so I'm just gonna kind of put it over here like that like so just like that all right so now I'm gonna drag in my floor material onto the floor I've got my two materials here and now we can go ahead and turn on cycles and see what happens um, first let's go ahead and make this a light object um, so let's go ahead and double click on this material here and we will make this material first so um, yeah let me grab this edge here this edge here and just so you can see what's going on a little more room there's my output my diffuse color and of course the first thing we need is a mix so I need to come over here and bring in a mix bring put my mix in here and then we come in and bring in my um, attributes or my emission there's my emission I'll put that in here and then we come in and I need to go ahead and get my attributes and the attributes are going to go into factor here and then we double click here hit control V the same name here as as this little guy here my lights light selection and then hit enter and then uh, we're, we're good to go with this so I'm going to go ahead and close this out and we'll go ahead and turn on my cycles unit user interface here hit play and now you can see that we have the materials on there and that that's already looking more interesting so let's go ahead and change this to GPU because it's much faster I'm going to crank this up to about 12 and then I'm going to kind of uh, do some more interesting stuff here so I'm going to come over and double click on my kind of just organize this a little bit I really don't need to see that um, this attributes anymore so I'm going to double click on that to minimize that and then um, we're going to do some work with the emission and the base so I want to change the emission color I like kind of like this green thing hit OK and then if I come over here you'll see it's turning green already and then I want to change the materials on the floor so I'll double click here and um, we're going to come over and change the materials on the floor we're going to add a mix also so come over here add a mix drag this in here and then I'll come down grab glossy and drag this over here and then we'll get a reflection on here of course that's like really really bright so that reflection so I'm going to take it more down or down a little bit so it's uh, less reflective and then also what I want to do just to is add a little roughness in here so this is gonna, I'm gonna just change this here up to maybe like somewhere in here maybe not so much maybe down around 10 yeah just to make it interesting so you can kind of see a little bit of a reflection in there and then the next thing I want to do is I want to kind of do the same thing with uh, with the sphere so I will come over here add a mix drag my mix in here and then we'll come in and do glossy and this is going to come in here and now this will be a little bit reflective as well all right so now now that we have that all set up now let's make this scene a little bit more interesting so i'm going to go ahead and close this out and yeah, we're doing good here so i'm going to go ahead and hit pause here and then i'm going to come back over to my um, standard interface here the one i normally use which is, is this and what i'm going to do as um, create another sphere so I'll create a sphere and this sphere is going to I'll go ahead and move this sphere up here and we'll zoom out a little bit so we can see it and I'm going to change this to let's say maybe 300 yeah that looks good there all right so I'm going to bring this up also just a little bit here and what um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and uh, go to MoGraph yeah, oops, MoGraph and grab a cloner and I'm going to grab my sphere that we've made and put it in the cloner and then I'm going to come over to the cloner and change that from linear mode to object mode and now it needs to know what object I want to use well I'm going to use a sphere object here and now I've got these all of my spheres that we've created with all the little lights on it all over the outside of that sphere so we want to come over here and change this to random and then I want it to be on the surface 
And the reason I want it on the surface is so I can choose how many, uh, what the count is. All right, so I'm going to bring this down to something like, um, let's go down to about, I don't know, about 15. That looks good to me. All right, and the next thing I want to do is um, actually add a random effector in here. So I'm going to come back up here to MoGraph. Um, first, I want to make sure my cloner is selected, and then go over here to MoGraph, and then to the effectors, and I'm going to come over here to random. And then um, we're going to come over here to the uh, parameters, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, scale and rotation. And I want my scale to be uniform because I want it to be the same in all directions. So I want this to be able to be random up to, to 180. So I'm going to go ahead and put 180, tab, 180. I'm hitting tab just to go down to the next line, 180. And you can see they're all in different directions now. And now uh, the next thing I want to do is change the size of this. So I can come over here and you can see how I can change the size of this. And that looks good right there. I'm going to come back over to the effector and I'm going to change my seed. And um, just to see what, uh, what different things I can come up with here. And maybe I have too many um, balls here. So I'm going to come over here, back over to the cloner and change this down. And maybe we'll just do a few. And I don't want to see this um, sphere in, in the render or in my viewport here. So I'm just going to click on this little guy here and this little guy here. Wrong guys. So let's call it, uh, click on this sphere right here. And that way we don't have to see it in the render. And then we'll come back over. And I think that it's um, the size is too big uh, for the, the spheres. So I'm going to come back over to my random effector and parameters and then change this down. And we'll just bring it down just a little bit so they're not so, so, so different. And the position, maybe we'll move them apart just a little bit also. So I'm going to rotate around, make sure there's nothing touching um, a couple more so let's let's do 10 let's do nine nine's a good good odd number all right so let's um, go ahead and rotate around and see if there's anything that's touching and there is and we'll just keep, we'll just keep on moving stuff around until we until it looks kind of interesting all right and I've got one that these two are touching right here and we'll just see all right there's nothing touching that'll work all right now I'm going to come over and grab my plane here and just bring it down just a little bit because I was intersecting over here all right now I think I'm happy with all this so let's go ahead and make this big again and let's go ahead and render this see what it looks like so I'll go ahead and come back come over here and we'll go back over to cycles layout here and I'm going to hit play and there you go something a little bit more interesting as you can see I've got uh, some reflections in here maybe the reflections are a little hot so I can come over and turn that down um, just bring this uh, roughness up to like like I did before about t uh, 0 0.1 0.12 and you'll see it blurs it out just a little bit makes it more interesting and um, if you want to see it rendered, we can go ahead and do that real quick. I'll come over here to see, so you can see what my render settings would be. Come over to the render settings and turn on cycles. And then um, we'll click on cycles. And I'll change this to GPU because it's much faster. And I'm going to crank this up from samples down here uh, up to like maybe 40. And then when you have something reflective like this, you may get these little, what they call fireflies. So we'll render it out once and see what it looks like. And if we have to, we'll, we'll clamp it, uh, use this clamping feature to, to bring those out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit render. And um, I probably will go ahead and speed this up a little bit here uh, through the magic of video. So as soon as it's done, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. It finished pretty quickly in about a minute and a half here. 
So if I zoom up on here, you can see what I'm talking about, these little fireflies. You see these little bright dots here and here. There, there, there's one there. There's a couple around here. So anyway, um, you can use the clamping feature. Anytime you have a reflective surface, I think um, from what I read, that's, that's what causes it. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and close this real quick. And then I'm going to clamp this. I'm going to put one and one. And we'll go ahead and I'm going to pause this because um, with this going on in the background, maybe it's uh, taking a little bit of uh, cycles there that I don't want to spend on it. So I'm going to come over here and uh, render that one more time. And we'll see the difference. So we'll be right back. So that took about 10 six seconds longer uh, to render, but you can see that it doesn't have the, the little uh, fireflies in here anymore. There's a pretty bright one right there. So if I click on this uh, previous render, you'll see them. There's a lot. There's like five or six or seven in here, lots of them. Um, but you can mess around with that clamp thing uh, to see what the minimum is that it'll, it'll take. But I, um, this is super fast, super fun to use, loving cycles. Um, Insidium, pretty pretty neat company, and uh, right now uh, they've got 50% off on on uh, cycles and 50% off on um, uh, X particles. So if you've got the if you've got the dime and the time, go ahead and buy it. Um, I would definitely recommend it. So thank you very much uh, for your time, and uh, we'll see um, how many of you are interested in subscribing to the channel. If you are, I'll start making a bunch of videos on how to do different things. So uh, once again, thank you. Subscribe, uh, leave a comment, tell me if I'm doing okay, and I appreciate your time. Take care.